Well, we had a great weekend. I thought uh, both ends of the floor, we, we were doing a great job. Offensively, you know, we've been a little bit challenged most of the year, but uh, uh, really picked up, you know, 190 points we scored uh, this, this past weekend. So that's getting it done. We're getting it done in fast break. We're shooting uh, the ball pretty well, and we're getting good balance inside and out. So it was, a, it was a nice week. I definitely think our chemistry has something to do with it, and defensively we've really stepped it up and became more dictators on that end, and we really want to be aggressive each game. And when we're doing that, we're really hard to beat. So, And then it translates to the offensive end. When your defense is flying around getting really good stops, it brings up the energy, and then we are able to go down and score. Yeah, I mean, we're playing really, really well right now, like you said. Um, I think we're, uh, we're getting that 10, 15 point lead and just pushing and pushing and everyone's playing really well together. That's uh, a lot of people are performing well. It's not just, you know, one or two people. So I think that also is a huge factor. We have people coming off the bench, putting up double figures and then, you know, our starters that play well all the time are being consistent. So that, that helps a lot. Are, they, are you guys playing your best basketball of the year? No, I would have to say we're not, which is kind of cool to know because we're playing really well, but we still know we have improvements that need to be made, and we have a lot of things that we can continue to work on. So once everything starts falling into place, we're going to be a really good team. Uh, we don't pat each other on the back too often. So, um, you know, I, I try to keep them focused just by staying hard on them in, in practice and making sure we're doing things right each and every day because uh, you know, what happened yesterday is over. And the only thing we can control is today, and the only thing we look forward to is the next game. So that's the, always been our focus here, and I think between myself and my staff and certainly our senior leaders, uh, we, we stay focused on the job at hand. And how do you guys feel like you need to, to really perform to get it done and, and to take home that regular season crown? I think we just have to take, uh, you know, one game at a time. We can't think, oh, we have, you know, we still have St. Mary's and BYU and San Diego. I think we just, you know, we have Pepperdine next, and that's who we need to focus on and take care of business because you never know. I mean, LMU took us to overtime, and that was a really good game. So you can never uh, look ahead, but obviously we're, we're very uh, excited for the next couple games. Uh, well, Pepperdine's good. They have they have a lot of talent. It's young talent, but uh, but they come in and you know they're at a point in their season now where you know they can play f play free and lose. You know they don't have much to lose, and so um, you know those kind of teams are always dangerous, especially if they have talent and they have talent. So they have a couple kids that can really score. So you know we'll we'll have to do a good job, but I'm confident that we'll be ready. And you know and if 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 we play like we're capable of playing, then we're going to be just fine.